The diagnosis for a joint replacement procedure in the ankle is for ankle arthritis. Non-surgical treatments for ankle arthritis include oral medications such as Advil, Aleve, Tylenol, or special steroid joint injections. If that does not work, however, surgery will occur, and this surgery is called total ankle arthroplasty. This surgery is performed under general anesthesia. The surgeon makes an incision over the front of the ankle, and then the muscles are retracted and tendons and ligaments are moved away to expose the ankle joint. The damaged part of the tibia, fibula, and talus bone are then removed using special instruments, and the remaining part of the bones are reshaped to fit the new artificial joint or prosthetics. A bone graft is inserted between the tibia and fibula to create a fusion of the two bones and prevent loosening of the prosthetics. The prosthetics are kept in position by using special bone cement and instrumentation such as screws to support the artificial ankle. Tendons and other structures are placed back in position covering the new joint and the wound is suttered, closed, and covered with a sterile dressing. After the procedure, the patient needs to stay in the hospital for two to three days and must also keep pressure off the ankle for six weeks and if they want to walk, they can use crutches. Post-op, there is usually a drain tube inserted into the joint during surgery for draining blood from the incision, and that's removed within one to two days after the surgery. Swelling and discomfort can be managed by taking prescription pain medicines, applying ice packs, and also by elevating the ankle above heart level while resting. You will be referred to physical therapy soon after surgery to regain range of motion of the new ankle. Sutures are removed after 10 to 15 days, and one should take care of that incision um, by keeping it clean and dry. Future issues could include infection, fracture of the tibia or fibula bone, dislocation of the ankle, damage to nerves or blood vessels, blood clots, also known as deep venous thrombosis, loosening of artificial components, failure to relieve pain, or instability and stiffness. The percent recurrence of injury includes neurologic injury, which is, is significantly associated with the development of post-traumatic osteoarthritis in the ankle. And the lifespan of a replacement is five to eight years.